I'm all alone today. One of the rare occasions. So I'm going to pretend I'm having dinner with you. <laughs> so I keep a list on my iPhone of um, videos that I want to make. The first one is YouTube comments and how I react to them. Um, so, <coughs> one thing <coughs> that my viewers should know is that I read all the comments. I always have and always will until the day I die. I'm always going to read the comments. Um, I find it interesting. I find it... Um, endlessly fascinating what, what people think about my videos and, and all that. It doesn't, doesn't really affect me one way or another. Um, you know... When someone comes comments about a video, that's their that's their interpretation. For the for the vast majority of it, it's very kind. There's a little bit of negativity, but it doesn't really bother me or affect me. Mm. So, I mean, I've said this over and over again. I feel that I was born to make video. My dad was a photographer and I was always interested in photography. I had a camera from the time I think I was probably eight or nine and I was taking pictures with it. And um, experimenting with composition and lighting and and all that stuff. Mm. My dad supported me in like developing the film and stuff. And then someone videotaped me <coughs> in like 1987 riding my motorcycle at Pismo Beach on the dunes. And I saw myself and I was like, oh wow, I need to do that. I need to, I need to video myself. I need to get a video camera. I was just like drawn to it. Um, so there's a video where I explain how I did it. And you know, it's like I took out a credit card and borrowed a thousand bucks and got all the equipment and put an ad in the local paper saying I'll video your event for free and how I paid for my equipment. And I would. It was never my goal to make money at it or make a career. It was just to pay for the equipment. Anyhow, um, I just wanted to make videos. I didn't want to make money off of it. I just wanted to make videos. <laughs> By the way, I got a, a video editor. I, I got I got into eight eight millimeter because it was better quality. And I got a, a editing VCR, and I would record, and I would you could slow it down and add music. I got a sound mixer, and I got lights. I got I learned how to add music, and I was making music videos. I mean, I you know I wasn't trying to make money out of it. I wasn't trying to get famous out of it. I just wanted to make video. I just wanted to I wanted to entertain myself with my videos. I found it, found it endlessly entertaining. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was just like, I just been drawn to make videos. And it's curious, it's, it's interesting because the main meeting room at YouTube headquarters is called the Double Rainbow Room. The main meeting room at YouTube headquarters is named after me. 
you know, without wanting or trying, I just like became a YouTube icon, you know, um, just because I was drawn to it, you know, um, uh, I, I didn't cry. I didn't try to do this. I just did it. I did it because like I wanted to. Uh, I was drawn. I was fascinated by it, and I didn't. I didn't think about it. I just did it. I did it, and I found it compelling. I found it interesting, and I loved it. And um, I never wanted to make money off of it. I never wanted to get famous from it. I just wanted to make videos. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it made me a living legend. And, uh, uh, I, uh, you know, other things were going on in my life. I turned myself into a servant for my fellow man. I turned myself into a vessel for spirit. And God came to my front yard. You know, uh, I was also this prepper. You know, in case the shit hits the fan... You know, I got my own well, I got fruit trees and vegetable gardens and chicken coops and I breed dogs and I grow cannabis and I've got water tanks and my own well and solar panels and I started feeling like I was Noah because this land is like an ark. And the first time I said how I feel like I'm Noah, a rainbow comes and I film it and it makes me famous. <laughs> Get out of here, you stupid bee. <laughs> So, um, there you go with the comments. I read all the comments. I respond to all the comments. I don't think there's any. I mean, I'm unique. There's no viral videos where the creator of the viral video watch it reads the comments every day and replies to the comments and reads them and responds and doesn't have any ads on it like no one I'm the only one you know uh, I'm the only one in history like that and it's why the double rainbow room at YouTube headquarters the main meeting room the biggest meeting room they got named after me <laughs> I'm a legend I'm an icon I'll never die <laughs> yeah